Hello. Um, I moved my room around, rearranged my furniture. This apartment is old. This apartment building is old, so all the floors are kind of slanted. Um, and so now I just keep rolling all about the place. So that's great. <laughs> Anyways, so today is going to be an art day. So I'm an artist. Online, I mostly just share three of my art forms, which is photography. I'm photography. That's my main art, uh, and I go to college for that as well. And I also sell prints on my shop, Kathryn Karras at shop. Uh, prints on my photography. I also obviously make these videos, so that's an art form itself. Uh, filmmaking, video editing, and things. Journaling. I journal, and it's that's an art thing. Uh, it's not any specific kind of journal, but check out a journaling video if you want to, or flip through. But that's what I share online. I don't really share the other kinds of art form because usually when I'm doing them I don't want to be filming them because it's just solitary me just vibing right but I recently realized that I haven't been doing any of those things because I just don't have the time for them or if I do have time to do them I'm like hmm what should I do with myself today mm, let's go play Splatoon or let's play The Sims I just do other things instead of doing art and I'm like wait people just like if they're bored they're like oh let me draw something so I paint, I've been painting for most of my life with acrylics and I have a lot of paint that has just been sitting in there probably getting old and probably drying up so I need to use those. So I would like to give them some love and do a little painting today. I also embroider part of my culture, I'm Mayan, uh, embroidery is a big part uh, and so I've been learning to embroider and I haven't embroidered in a while so I also want to do like a little Christmassy thing. I think that'd be cute. I think the whole art vibe is going to be Christmas today and I also do and I've shared this online but I do clay stuff so like ceramics but I haven't been able to get my hands in ceramics or a studio in a long time which I really miss but hopefully I'll be able to do it before I graduate college. A goal perhaps. So I've mostly been using Sculpey, which I can just bake in the oven, and it's been very fun. Uh, on my Patreon, I a couple of months ago, I made a dish, no, an ashtray and a dish for my friend as a housewarming gift, and it was very cute, and I was very pleased, and I was doing a big project on clay tiles, like Mayan tiles, so that was like back in the summer, those were in my videos, so yeah. I also draw. I love doing line drawing, but I don't ever share that, and I don't intend to do that today. I did write it on the list, but I don't feel like it anymore. <laughs> so the goals here are to do a Christmas embroidery. So I'm thinking like a Christmas sweater, perhaps. Hopefully I have all the colors. I think I do. I also have a gold thread, which I think would be very cute. And I'm currently listening to Harry Potter audiobooks. So I'm, uh, so I just read The Goblet of Fire and I'm currently on Order of the Phoenix. And that's what I'm going to be listening to because I, and don't worry, I've had this downloaded for years and years, probably since I was like 13, it's been downloaded into my, onto a hard drive. So don't worry, no profiting here. And so speaking in that same vein, I don't want to be buying any Harry Potter things, so I'm just going to make it myself. I'm going to paint a snowy Hogwarts because, again, the Christmas vibe. And then lastly, for clay, I'm not sure <laughs> what I want to do with the clay. I'm thinking a Christmas dish of sorts or like a Christmas gift for my mom. I'm sure she doesn't want any more of my clay things, but too bad. I'm your daughter. You have to have it. You have to cherish it forever, lady. But I haven't really planned anything out for that, so I think that'll, we'll just do that later tonight. So let's get to embroidery, painting, question mark. I think let's get a Starbucks first and then see if I'm in the mood to paint or embroider first. I think embroider because I think it'll be faster than the painting. The goal here is to just like complete these projects within one day instead of like letting it go forever. So I'm not gonna be putting like maximum detail and effort into each one of them but I still want to like, I just want to get things moved. I just want to be doing things. So let's go. But before we get into it, I would like to give thanks to the sponsor of this video, Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry brand based in Brooklyn, New York. They make beautiful, beautiful pieces that are ethically made. They're a carbon neutral company. So all of the CO2 emissions used in the production of their jewelry is counterbalanced, leading to a carbon neutral impact. And so you can have a peace of mind buying their pieces, which are just so pretty. I really love them because they're just such staple pieces that you can really mix and match and layer and reduce. And as an Ana Luisa brand ambassador, I've been bringing you all the sales all year long. And right now they're having their best sale of the year, which is a buy one, get one 60% off. You've got your holiday money like 
well worth it and a wonderful sale. So if you'd like to check out their jewelry, click the link in the description. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. So something ended up distracting me, so uh, we're starting a little bit late. It's guess it's going to be more of an art night, not an art day, but we're going to start with an acrylic painting. I don't paint that much anymore because I'm not very good at proportions. I don't practice. Like I said, I don't really like, did I say this? But I don't really like drawing and drawing is pretty important when it comes to painting because you have to 
mm, sketch it all out first. And growing up, I was taught like very realistic painting styles. I was never offered the idea, the opportunity to paint in other types of styles. But because I don't like to draw, I think that impressionism type paintings uh, speak to me more in the way of like me producing it. Not necessarily like I love Italian Baroque and stuff like that and like hyper realistic, don't get me wrong. But for me painting, I like to do a good Monet. From afar it looks good, but don't get too close. And so that's definitely what I was going for with this, and Hogwarts is a really easy thing to do with that. Roofs and windows and things, and I wanted to do a snowy landscape because um, then I can just cover things, mostly with white paint, and I think in the end, it turns out, it just, it gives the impression of a cozy, wintry coldness. Um, and definitely best to be viewed from afar. But I'm very pleased with how this turned out. I really, at one point I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna have to come back and be like, um, don't judge me. I haven't painted in a long time. <laughs> Which is the truth. But um, I'm out of practice with painting. But this felt good. This, this felt like a fun little relaxing time listening to the order of the phoenix and painting this yes exactly this is the mood so it felt good to just get the paints out again i tried my best because i'm like a hand painter i mix paints on my hand and i wipe brushes off of my hands like yeah there's something wrong with me i know but I can't help it, but today I did my best, but towards the end I was definitely just starting to use my fingers. So yeah, that's it for the painting. Now on to the embroidery. Okay, I was just uh, sending voice message to my mom and I realized I was telling her about my little painting and I was like, oh, I don't know if it's going to turn out good or not and um, I was like, it, I think my modus operandi of art, especially with painting and since painting is like my foundation of all the art that I do, it's really about trust the process. Trust the process. You just got to trust the process, but you still got to be like, what's going on here because if not for that fear would we you know i know that fear can like hold people back and they're like never mind i'm not gonna finish this but i'm filming so i must finish and i'm very pleased and very happy oh i scratched it really yeah um obviously this is a canvas from the dollar store so it's very cubic i don't care though it's fine i could have sanded it, but I don't have any sandpaper, and I could have put a layer of gouache, but I was too lazy for that. So, anyway, and plus it's just, it's working through it all, you know? Anyways, moving on to clay. Psych, I'm not going to do the embroidery now. So I'm on to clay. I have Sculpey. It's like a flesh-colored Sculpey, but I really like it. It's very, like, not messy, because the white Sculpey, it coats my nails. It's not good, because I like to have nice nails, but they're chipping right now, so please don't look at them. But this nail polish is so pretty. So kind of look at them, but not too closely. Uh, oh, and this painting is like a, don't look at it too closely. It, you shouldn't, definitely shouldn't. It's definitely better viewed from afar and maybe at an angle. Anyways, the Sculpey is like this like pale nudish. It feels like flesh. Somebody got upset at me once for calling it flesh-like or skin colored. I never said that it was all skin colors. It is skin colored, but it's not everybody's skin color, obviously. If it was dark brown, I would still call it skin colored because it's just like the quality of it feels like flesh. Anyways, before anybody fucking tries to do that again, please don't. So, I'm doing a little bit of planning it out, a little sketching it out. I don't know. I don't think that I will do them all tonight, but I will definitely, you know, the creative juices are flowing, so now I know what I will want to do later on.
So here's the clay project. I ended up deciding to do ornaments, little Christmas ornaments for my tree. I wanted to do book ones, so I ended up doing two, but I only showed one on camera. Um, just rolled it the clay, did all the things, uh, added foil so that when they went into bake, they wouldn't like collapse on themselves. I added some little detailing to one of them, which kind of wish I did to both, but you know, too late. I only did one of the books on camera because I was too tired to do the other one. Uh, and I never got to the embroidery. I know I really have to have the embroidery in this video, but um, never did it. Still haven't done it. It's been quite a few days since this. But anyways, the book I made, I was originally going to do the pages in clay, but I ended up just adding real paper in there. So it's like a nice little effect. For the book title, I went with The Secret History because that's a book that I've been recently reading, buddy rereading with my friend. And so overall, I really liked how this clay work turned out. Uh, I know that I said I was doing art that I was that I don't really share online or haven't done in a while, but I feel like I'm doing clay all the time. So and as always, I just like working with clay. It's, it feels very therapeutic, you know, um, and also like problem solving with the clay. Over time, getting new tools has just helped the clay making process a lot more. And so I was trying out these newer stuff that I recently got, and those were really nice um, because I have long nails, and working with clay and long nails is not very conducive, but um, alas. Anyways, I think these two projects were good. Uh, pleased with the outcome. I feel like it was a good day. Successful art stuff even though i only got to do two of the three things but whatever it's okay are you joking are you joking watching this whole video this was the last project uh finished i never actually got to put it on my tree because i got covid <laughs> so exciting there was SantaCon uh recently in new york city and nobody was wearing their mask and so it trickled down into everybody else that didn't go to SantaCon because normal new yorkers don't go to SantaCon. duh and so I probably got Omicron from that. But I'm on the mend, so that's why this video is pretty late. It's after Christmas. But this art day was really fun. I felt like I did this ages and ages ago. Let me know if you want other art videos like this in the future, because it was fun to make. Because I feel like I hardly ever film me doing art, so let me know. Thank you for watching it. 
Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.